Good morning, everyone. This is Peter Yosef, analyst at IronFX, bringing you the morning comment for the 9th of February. Bank of England remained on hold yesterday, but GBP jumped. Bank of England kept its interest rate stable at plus 0.5%, as was widely expected by the market. The minutes had a hawkish tone, specifically the projected need for a tightening to occur somewhat earlier and by somewhat greater extent as until now anticipated. The quarterly inflation report projects inflation to drop to plus 2.28% in one year time from current plus 3% and GDP to grow by plus 1.8% for 2018 instead of plus 1.6% which was the previous forecast. Bank of England Governor Mark Carney justified the tone of the minutes as global economic growth is stronger and at the same time mentioned that future interest rate hikes will be gradual. Analysts predict that the next rate hike may come as early as May 2018. Overall, GBP has strengthened and there seems to be a positive sentiment forward. Cable rose sharply yesterday upon BOE's decision announcement and tested the 1.4040 resistance level, only to surrender most of its gains later on. We see the case for cable to continue to trade in a bullish mood for the short term, however contingent to today's UK financial data release. Should the pair find buying orders, we could see it breaking the 1.4040 resistance line and aim for the 1.4168 resistance level. Should the pair come under selling interest, we could see the pair breaking the 1.3875 support level and aim for the 1.3749 support zone. On other news, there seems to be another US government shutdown, at least for a few hours as Senate has failed to reach a compromise to approve a temporary funding bill. Republican Senator Rod Paul has delayed a Senate vote on a bipartisan budget agreement for deficit reasons. White House has already instructed government agencies to prepare for shutdown. The shutdown may prove to be temporary though, as the Senate will come to a vote before the start of the US working day. US dollar could weaken somewhat from the developments, especially should the shutdown be realized and prolonged. Euro dollar traded in a sideways manner yesterday slightly above the 1.2230 support zone. We see the case for the pair to continue to trade in sideways manner with a bearish tone. The argument is based on the downward trend line which begins on Friday last week as well as the week RSI. Should the bears be in the driver's seat, we could see the pair head south breaking the 1.2230 support line and aim for the 1.21 support barrier. On the other hand, should the bulls take the reins, we could see the pair breaking the 1.2355 resistance level and aim for the 1.2455 resistance hurdle. As for today's other economic highlights, during the European morning we get UK's manufacturing output for December, as well as UK's trade balance deficit for December. Later on, Canada's employment data is to be released. As for speakers, Bank of England's Monetary Policy Committee member Canlef speaks. For more information, please read the full comment on ironfacts.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Peter Yosef, analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.